Okay, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for Engineering Mechanics Statics by R.C. Hibbler. So we have this problem from chapter two of the textbook. Uh, it's very similar to problems F2.13 and F2.14, where it's asking us to express their force as a Cartesian vector with a diagram of a 500 Newton force acting in 3D space. So I've covered it in the tutorials for the previous two problems, but in case you haven't watched them, uh, just to recap, we have this, this, this idea here of um, angles alpha, beta, and gamma, which are angles we, we can use in 3D space, where alpha represents the angle of the vector with the x-axis, uh, beta for the y-axis and gamma for the z-axis. So in the problem here, we have this 45 degree angle. It's the angle between the vector and the y-axis, so we could describe it then as uh, angle beta. We have this 60 degree angle here, which is with the z-axis, so we can describe it as gamma. And we don't have the um, uh, alpha uh, angle here, it's just not given in the problem, but we can determine it later. So uh, let's start off with this beta idea down here. So we can say uh, cos 45 is equal to uh, the y component over f, uh, which in this instance is equal to 500. Therefore, uh, the y component here is equal to 500 uh, cos 45. Um, but wait, uh, note as I've uh, described in F213 and F214, uh, the uh, axis labels are attached to the positive side of an axis. So in this instance, the positive y direction is sort of towards you, but to the right. For the x, the positive direction is kind of towards you, but to the left. And for z, the positive direction is up. Uh, note that uh, this vector is acting in the negative y direction. So really, this should say uh, minus, 200, uh, minus 500 cos 45, uh, which when we bung in our calculator, we can say it's 353.6 or minus 353.6. Okay. Uh, that's our y component. Let's move on to our z component then. So we can say that cos of 60 is equal to f of uh, z, the z component over f, which is equal to uh, fz over 500. Therefore, f, the, the z component here is equal to uh, 500 cos 60. Not cos 50, cos 60. There we go. Uh, note this is acting in the negative z direction. So again, we need to make this negative. And we can say, uh, we can bung that into our calculator. And what that will give us is uh, minus 250. Minus 250 is our z component. So we have our uh, y and z components. Let's move on to calculate our x component. We haven't been given alpha here, um, but what we can do, or at least this is how I would approach uh, this problem, is I'd, I'd use uh, this idea. I, I can say that the magnitude of uh, the force 500 is equal to the square root uh, of the x component here, squared plus, in this instance, 353.6 squared plus 250 squared. So it's using Pythagoras' theorem here uh, to describe the magnitude of the force. We've only got one unknown in here, f of x, so we can just rearrange for it, okay? Uh, we can rearrange for this, for f of x here, uh, by inspection we can, square both sides to get rid of this square root. We can subtract this 353.6 squared and this 250 squared, and we can then square root both sides to get rid of this square here, okay? I'm gonna do three steps in one, essentially, here. Uh, so we can say that uh, F 
of x is equal to 500 squared uh, minus 353.6 squared minus 250 squared, all square rooted. Okay. So I've done three steps in one there just to save a bit of time. Uh, so when we bung that into our calculator, let me just move my face real quick, let's get it in the way. Uh, when we bung this into our calculator, we find that this is equal to 250. Okay, so we have our x component there. Let's just check. Yep, it's acting in the positive x direction, so we can leave it as positive. Uh, so we now have our x component. We have our y component. We have our z component. All we need to do now is provide the answer. So we can say uh, vector f is equal to, uh, we can make use of ijk notation here. Uh, so we can say this would be 250i minus 353.6j minus 250k. And we uh, there we have our solution. So if you have any questions or comments about that problem, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.